Have you ever wondered how it would feel to wake up to the sound of the sea waves? Come, let me show you how this view looks like. Before we get into the video, it's a good time to subscribe to my YouTube channel in case you haven't. I am Kachu. My explorations around me are covered here as Kachu travels. Essentially, it's me and my son exploring the world around us by observing people, places and customs. Join us on our journey as we crisscross places and experiences in India. So nice to be hearing the sound of uh, sea waves. I haven't heard them in I think close to six, seven months. I think last I went was January. So this is September. So that's all. That's already about about nine months. Feels so nice uh, listening to the sound of the sea and of course the the breeze that comes down. We're I think uh, about 300 meters from the sea. Uh, we're right now at this place in Kumta. It's called Kadle Beach. And uh, surrounding me are a lot of tall trees. It reminds me incidentally of uh, one of the beaches in Danushkodi where you had to enter a, you know, a forest of sorts to get to the beach and also Oro Beach in Pondicherry. So, uh, yeah, some memories coming from some of the earlier trips. But right now it's, it's very peaceful. Happy to get to the sea and happy to uh, do a trip where you know you are uh, seeing two different moods on the same day uh, hill station in terms of uh, the way jog falls was today with all the rain mist clouds and then uh, an, an hour and a half later you are at the sea sun and and incidentally it's not been raining here so i i can say sun sand and sea but yeah good to see two different vibes on the same day how do i think i'm just going to uh, drink some chai and uh, collapse for the day. Nothing much to do. Right now, nobody in the tents are joining us, so it's only us in this whole space, which makes it interesting. It also makes it very lonely. So, after a long uh, ride i think we started at 5 am yesterday of course we took a lot of breaks we've now arrived in kumta which is roughly 36 hours later and uh, it's very very peaceful at the beach but what's even more nice is that we're in cottages uh, and that's in a forest like environment leading to the beach but let me show you what our cottage looks like first we have the door there you go. Three beds. A little cupboard. And that's the view as you sleep from the room. Of course, has aircon. And then this side is the bathroom. This is the way which is very spacious. And clean. So Nandu and I have just woken up, it's about, uh, no actually we've not just woken up, it's been an hour but we've just been trying to get Nandu out of bed and he's finally got out of bed 
the sea looks very alluring just to see from a distance because it's uh, fairly choppy and rough and it's rainy weather but nevertheless that doesn't stop us from going to the sea are you ready nandu yes. chalo let's go and i found this place so beautiful to go out there in the morning for a little walk the feeling of putting your feet in that wet sand even after doing it a, you know a million times is something that you want to keep keep on doing we loved our time out there in the morning taking a long walk and also the fact that the monsoon was pregnant and waiting it was about to hit us in the morning the winds were getting uh much more louder and we were seeing that gokarna on the other end the mountains the clouds were basically covering them of course the sea looked rough so we didn't go there so we went found a little spot where there was a little hill made out of rocks i think it might be to basically uh prevent water from you know hitting the coastline or hitting the forests but we also realized that as much as this makes a great viewing point for people or tourists like us It is also a point where some of the locals or the fishermen uh, come out there to basically uh, go toilet. So a lot of them defecate in the open, and uh, they just found a quiet corner of the sea to go and defecate. And unfortunately, uh, this fisherman basically photo bombed the little blog that I was, you know, shooting. I was wanting to shoot the uh, the rock and how beautiful it looked, but this is another site I had to contend with. But otherwise, I think Kadle Beach makes for a, a great, uh, you know, visit. It's a very, very quiet beach. There aren't enough people, so the beach feels like it's your own. And of course, if you come to this rocky point, you feel all the more peaceful because it's just very, very silent. As one of the locals has also reviewed that there's a little hill that's situated, which gives this beautiful view. Really overcast weather. There are eagles flying all around, trying to attack my drone. It's raining. It's starting to rain. Amazing weather right now. Uh, I somehow like overcast and uh, uh, monsoon weather, and uh, I can see that the hills in the distance, which is Gokarna, is basically now completely clouded. You can't see it from here. As much as the place looks so beautiful. it doesn't have a proper entrance to come in and as a result of that it isn't very easy to find your way to the beach not just that there are no public amenities like a washroom or a place where you can shake off the sand before getting back into your car oh no starting to rain <laughs> we actually found refuge in a little toilet here that's nandu and i um we wouldn't completely get back to our hotel room no. i don't know whose toilet this is but uh, it's a god send uh, right uh, in our path and we decided to stop by because we uh, didn't want to get wet in the rain but amazing amazing weather right now we're enjoying it friend uh, you stay here come on nandu and uh, please thank you
You want to go in this rain? Yeah. You'll get wet, ma. You'll get cold. I'm hungry. Hungry? That's nice. What do you want to have for breakfast? Anything that's tasty. Anything that's tasty. Yeah. Let's try some local cuisine, no? Upitu. So we didn't start on our trip, we decided we'll quickly have breakfast here. Uh, we forgot that the breakfast was complimentary, so we thought, uh, okay, since the breakfast is ready and they've already cooked, we might as well have the breakfast in our tent, overlooking the sea. So let's get started. She leaves her. Put your glove on. So Nandu, do you know where we are going? Uh, we are going to a waterfall with a beach. That is called Apsar and we are going to a mangrove walk. It's for kids. What, you're not a kid? No, I'm not a kid. Come. How do you like this place? It's nice. And there. Uh...